Hello, how are we all doing? Doing a bit of a night shift today um, because I'm going to a late district tomorrow and I need to go in the morning, so I need to pack tonight. So I don't have as much to pack tomorrow morning. Um, but before I do that, as I promised in the previous video, I want to show you this disc cleaning order because this is quite a big disc cleaning order. And probably you lot can appreciate it a lot more than me. Shut up, Discord. I don't know. Um, how many games are in the Sega Saturn? Um, like a complete collection. I'm assuming these are all PAL. But these are all Sega Saturn games. Just looked, so there's 129 Sega Saturn games in this. Is that a full collection? I'll flash up on screen. Um, how many are in the PAL collection? Assuming these are all PAL. But it must be pretty close and there must be some bangers in here. I'll quickly lay them out and... I, I, I don't know, I know Discworld on the PS1, Discworld 2 is very expensive, I assume Discworld, any of them, is very expensive on the Sega Saturn, but I bet there's some amazingly pricey games in here. <sighs> and that's not all, I've still got all that that I'm just running out of table space for, but I'll quickly throw, like, oh, I can't appreciate this because... I really see, I've probably counted on one hand how many times I've picked up Sega Saturn stuff, like, I picked up that and Command and Conquer recently, well, recently, like, this year, Um, I just, like, I'll, 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 I'll do a, like, a time lapse of all the games, but I'm sure someone will be like, maybe Mega Man X, because I know that on the PS1 is quite expensive, I just don't know, but I'll quickly run you through of what there is. I think I've had nights before, maybe. Panzer Dragoon I've had on the Xbox original, but somewhere coming up there'll be Panzer Dragoon 2, top right there. Oh, it's just immense, the amount of value that must be here. I don't know how much would be here, I'm sure someone will be able to quickly figure out and then like I said there's more over there which I'll quickly get out now and then there the rest he said he's throwing in some Wii bits and PS1 bits as well even Pro 5 4 someone picked that up in front of me at the car bit for 50p before yeah he's the rest of them I've not seen Command and Conquer so he must be missing that I had it <laughs> I've got it over you even though it's nothing in comparison I assume he has all the cases as well for these just send them disc only just because it's cheaper on postage and you don't want to dam risk damage in the cases whereas all these and someone might be screaming don't put them all on all the discs on the case but no they're all scratched and that's why they come here because they need a resurface i wish i won't send them back like that but well that's nowhere near the worst but yeah is there any bad ones yeah and those are one really bad one it looks like someone's gone out with a stanley knife but no, all these will come out nice. What about the PS1? PS1 normally looks mank. Mm, it's not the worst. I don't like that. Look at that. That will come out beautiful once it's come out my resurfacer. If you want to send your massive Sega Saturn collection or any other disc format, Blu ray, GameCube, CD based, Sega Saturn, get in contact with me through Instagram. Anyways, I'm going to put these onto the disc clean and come back to you. Maybe tomorrow, about when we go through, because um, I've got. I want to go for my Wednesday car boot pickup um, and show you what I got, because I got uh, quite a few nice things. But, oh, well, it might be tomorrow for me, it'll be like this for you. And we're back. It wasn't tomorrow, it was the day after tomorrow. Um, so it's now Friday, I think, yeah. Um, car boot was Wednesday. So let's show you my bits that I found. We'll start with these. So, if you know, you know. If you don't, then you don't. Um, but Xbox One Disney Infinity stuff is really good. Especially if you can find the portals. Um, but, but these are part of a bundle with a few other bits I'll show you afterwards. But these were £10 each. Um, let me show you why. I find it pretty funny. Um, if you sell this as a complete package, as a starter pack, you might get £20 for them. But, inside of here, this portal alone, because it specifically only works on Xbox One, 
20 quid on its own. Um, so two of these boxes have brand new um, games inside of them. So I'm going to sell the portal and the game separately and throw the figures into a bigger bundle. And the one that doesn't have a brand new game in it, I will sell as a bundle, not as a starter pack. I'll throw a few more figures in to make like um, a bigger bundle pack. I might be able to get, I don't know, £40 for it, I'd say. It's weird because like the starter pack goes so cheaply, but then you sell them outside the starter pack, you get a lot more. So, good buy on those. Don't want money just on just two of these portals. And then... Everyone else's profit. The I got part of this bundle was this whole set for £50. Apparently no working. Um, it's not, it's a regular car boot seller, so I'll go back complaining. <laughs> um, but, yeah. Should be able to get £80 for the Wii U. Um, maybe throw in a game. And then the other games speak for themselves. I will try to flash up some pictures of what they go for. Um, so, Mario Kart 8, Splatoon, Super Mario Maker, Super Mario Bros. U, and Super Mario 3D World. Remote in there, which we get 15 quid on it on its own. This part I got of this bundle, all this, I'm not really tapped into it. I quickly looked up where it's there. He said there's £600 worth of stuff. I don't think there is. Maybe brand new um, from shops. But 20 quid for it all. Um, I looked that up, I tried to find it, I found something around £30, so I was like, my money's there, this is all the rest of profit, but flash up some comps, so whatever that is, whatever that is, I think that looks brand newish. so whatever that one is, whatever that one is, Frozen 1, and then... Incredibles. I might do as a whole complete bundle if, like, that's all you need to get going, and, you, and these are like add-ons. Um, but you'll see um, what they go for individually. Should my money should be safe in twenty pounds for it all. And then finally, he threw this in for free. Um, it is looks like PS One, um, but for free. Can't complain. You'll see how much it go for. I'm guessing around. Twenty pounds, maybe thirty. But yeah, not bad, Bali. Um, let's get some more stuff out. This, I'm annoyed I didn't find it myself. I found it from a contact who owes me a bit of money. Um, so instead of him um, giving me the money that he owes me, because I did a swap with him, and whatever he finds, he'll clear the balance. Um, he found this for two pound fifty. Now I gave him see it's cash, which. £28, I think, something like that. You'll see how much I paid for it. Um, but this is probably the best 360 controller you can find. It's the, is the Explorer. Yeah, Explorer. Um, Xbox 360, wired. Needs a breakaway cable, but got plenty of them. And I don't know how much these go. I know guitars are shot up in price. Um, CX was selling it for 80 I think. But you'll see what it's going for. So, not bad. I'll probably throw in a game of it to make it a nice, complete bundle. And my contact found me was a PS5 controller. Not tested it. Um, £16 I paid. It's got a little crack there. So, hopefully works. So, well, technically it didn't owe me anything because it's part of the trade, but £16 off this balance that he owes. And then the rest of the stuff that I found at the car boot. Ugh. Let's start with this. Don't normally pick these up on their own, but I saw some interesting ones. They are Skylanders. They were a pound each. I tried to. I picked a load. They were a pound each in a big box, and I picked out, I think, 16. I tried to offer a tenner, not buying it. It was pound each, pound each. Yeah. But I think I picked out some of the, like, you're looking for the, the quirky ones. Um. Maybe that was a bad buy because I think I've seen that actually now, retrospectively. Which is the one I've sold? Where is it? This one recently for a tenner. Um, but yeah, that's the Golden Queen from Imaginators, but it's in like a trophy form. I don't know. Trap Team figures, um, what are they called? I don't know what they're called, those things. 
a few of them a few imaginator crystals i think that's the original one that comes with the starter kit but then these two sometimes they're worth good money don't know i'm trying to, i'm trying to find all the swap force ones and i wasn't sure if that matched i kind of went off that's clear that's clear down there hopefully i suppose the feet and the arms kind of match as well so hopefully that's a complete right one you'll see how much it's worth now i'm thinking about it i think this is like a recolor i don't know i'm sure the one i had was purple so it might be worth a bit more of that and then generally trap team ones uh, good news as well as imaginators especially the big ones generally bigger and the ones that you don't see are the good ones um so try to flash up if i can find them how much they're going for and then those and then hopefully flash up those as well so for a pound each i can't really go wrong i'm sure that i want to find out now that one yeah <laughs> it is a recolor um scarlet ninjini it's called and it's worth one sold i'll flash you up 25 pounds so my money is safe in that the rest of profit not bad let's carry on picked up these for five i think it wanted two pound each and um i offered them oh, what was it yeah, two pound each. I was going to give him a tenner, but then he didn't have change, so I said, "I've got a fiver. Will you do a fiver?" And he said, "Yeah," well, reluctantly. Um, so that's bread and butter all day long. Eight pounds. These what console are they? PS3, PS4, Wii U. Pretty sure the Lego Dimensions one. No matter what the console, they're worth at least a tenner each. So, yeah, picked up those, and I probably need them for bundling anyways. So not bad. I also got that chucked in for free. Just an empty case, but you know how much I'm running to discs. I'll always need it. What should we give you next? This. Um, never find Switch games in a while, especially when they're three quid. The only reason it's three quid is because they said, oh, it's got the wrong game in it. It's got the original Minecraft. I don't mind. Three quid. All day long. And these are the rest of the bits I found myself at the car boot. It's hard to work out. It's two days ago. I can't remember... Um, what came as what bundles. I know that was on its own for a pound. The only WWE that's really worth good money on the 360. That was on its own for a pound. Same with that for a pound. That was with the Minecraft. It was a pound. Um, these were two for three pounds. These, I can't remember if they were part of this bundle or not, but... If they were, they would have been a pound each. So Black Ops 2, Red Dead, Fallout 3, and GTA 4. And then all these, potentially those as well, I paid... Oh, what was it? I knocked them down quite a fair bit. I can't remember if it was... Let me, let me work out what the total would have been. So uh, yeah, I think those were separate. Um, but these would have been £79, and then this the £3. But then I knocked out this the whole thing for down to 70, I believe. Um, so yeah, three pound for that. You'll see what it's going for. And then let's do these. Two pound for that, so like I said, eight pound all day. Two pound for that, I bundled that with Battlefront 1 and I'll show you what much I get for that. This one, two pounds. Carbon on the PS3 for eight. Toy Story 3 for three pounds. These are pound each, so Skyrim Special Edition and Resistance 3. These were 50p each, so Ridge Racer 7, SSX on Tour, Lord of the Rings 2 Towers, and Guitar 3 Legends of Rock on the PS2. That's those. Soul Calibur 4 Steelbook on 360. Paid £4. I can't remember from the PC if this was worth it, but I took a chance. Um, four pounds. I know it's on PS2, it's well worth it. This, 
some people <laughs> I know some people are like, whoa, you paid that much for this. Believe it or not, it's worth it. Slightly just over CX cash price. Um, but for special editions, I'm well, well willing to do that because CX pay penny, peanuts on special editions. Maybe not on this one. You'll see how much it's going for because I don't. And same again for this. Soul Calibur 4, Collector's Edition. And Soul Calibur 5 even. Collector's Edition on the PS3. Let's see what these look like. Some people are going to be cringing me doing this. It's a nice book. Book inside. Making of in there. Game is in there. Hopefully it is. Yep. With the soundtrack. Some kind of letter. Probably saying thank you for buying this game and spending all your hard-earned money. Something like that. So yeah. Not checked at all there, but... Seems to be, essentially. <laughs> I'm surprised with this Ellie edition, it's not a steelbook or anything. Let me get it out for you. It's like a canvas fold out thing. Ugh. But some diehard fan will want it. That's all Velcroed. Ugh. Come on, one hand Velcro. Not good. Probably reattach the other side, yeah. Come on. There we go. So yeah, it's just like a um, little cardboard. Hands, there we go. Little cardboard holder for the game. I suppose someone will want it like that. And then every slot is filled. So, little art book. PS3 skin for your controller. I'm assuming some kind of poster. And then a little comic book and a little sticker. Uh, imagine paying that amount of money for this, but it's now out there and collectability raises the price. I hope that stick appeals nicely, otherwise I'm going to cry. But yeah, paid £70 for all that. Well worth it, in my opinion. Let me know if you don't think it is. One last little bit to show you, let me get it out. So, I'm making a habit of doing this. Um, going to a car boot, knowing I'm out of stock, already well waiting for me. Um, Pre-arranged deal with Liam, thank you very much. Asked me to shout him, so here's his Instagram. So let's show you what I got. I paid 115, I think, for it for all. Let's get these out first. A lot of this, there's too much for me to show you prices of these. Um, but I'll point out some of the nice ones that I, well, essentially are good. Don't recognize, well, I think I've seen it before. There's some value in that. Some value in that. I think there might be in that. I don't think there is. The rest looks like I have a bundle fodder or a pair of another game. Bundled that recently. Garfield, I think it's all right on its own. The, the, the Disney Golf, potentially. Totally Spies, potentially again. I think the better stuff's in here. Let's get this stuff out. That, Judge Dredd, so Essentials re release. So, but still, Judge Dredd. No manual. Be worth some money on that. Tiggers, PS1, easily money. Tarzan, like I said, I think I showed you recently. This has gone up in price. If it's got a manual, I can get like 20 quid for it. It's not a manual, but still I bet be able to get close to 20 quid for it. Anything else on top before I pull over and out? Not really. Muppets, maybe. Some of these are worth some of the money. Maybe not that one. A lot of the good stuff is in the, I think. But there's still a few things. Superman, Shadow of Acropolis, Ratchet 3. Maybe this, let me look at the party. Nah, I don't think it'll be a bundle worth. Um, I think I sold this recently for eight, nine quid, something like that. Buzz, anything that's the unusual buzz is always goes for good money. Disney's Haunted Mansion. Um, I think I sold this today for £7. Crash Nitro Park, Crash always do as well. Spyro, I don't think that's one of the best ones. Well, I know it's not one of the best ones, but I don't think it's even a good one, that. Oh, I see a few games at the bottom here that are all right. Do it about destroying everything. Barnyard, that one, everyone seems to miss it. That's a good one. I don't think that's amazing. Right, and then let's point it out some here. Yeah, obviously, hit and run. 
just taking a stack at a time. It's all right, not amazing. Looney Tunes, pretty good. Crash of the Tide, that used to be really good, but it's, not, it's, not, it's come down a bit now. I've never seen this one before. Um, Wacky Racers, Dastardly and, Mut Dastardly and Mutley. Woody Woodpecker's all right. This on the, I've had this quite a few times on Mega CD. Um, don't see it often on PS2, pretty good one. Let's see, Sonic Gems, probably one of the only good Sonics on the PS2, along with Sonic Unleashed. Da -da -da -da. Crash to Insanity is alright. Never Spyro. Tekken 4 is alright. About a tenner. Never seen this one before, I'll see what the front is. It's another like, I think I paid 150 or something on that. Road Trip Adventure used to be good. Spyro's alright. If only it was number three of that. Number three of that is stupidly expensive. But yeah. So it's it's a lot of um probably ten pound games. Nothing bull out of the water, probably the best in the whole lot would be like Judge Dredd, I think. <laughs> that um where was it? That skate adventure would be like fifteen to twenty. But yeah. Nothing blow blow out the world, um, but nice to have stock ready, waiting for you. Yeah, oh, hot day today. All right, went to Lake District yesterday. The only thing I found was that, which was, wasn't even worth picking up. I thought GameCube might as well be worth trying, but nah. Oh. Didn't have any internet, so I couldn't really check it up. Um, but no, probably one of the worst ones there is on the GameCube. Um, but yeah, I think that'll be all for today. I'm going to think I'm going to have... I don't know if I'll be using it in the next video, but tomorrow, today is Friday, you'll see this on the Monday, I will have a GoPro. It's only a Hero 7, um, but it's good enough, isn't it? So hopefully you can see me at the car boot actually doing stuff. If you see me in the car boot, say hello, and if I have the camera, say hello to the camera. Um, but yeah. I'm going to love you and leave you because I've got two and a half hours before I need to pick up my kid from my mum's. And I've got all this to picture, all this to picture, all this to picture, all this to picture. Wish me luck. And I've got to sort out all these um, to be cleaned um, and just packed away. As I say, cutting games. Yeah. <laughs> Treating them nicely, ish. Before they go in the disc cleaner, um, it don't matter how the be used. But you can see just up there, the ones that I've done. I've always stopped the disc cleaner to blood stop the noise being so loud. Um, they go sit on a spindle until they go in a disc sleeve. But anyways, I'll catch you next time. Goodbye.